what's up you guys so as you can probably see from the title of the video i have accomplished my goal of running a sub five minute mile on the treadmill and uh man i would say it's been a long time coming but not really like i i hadn't even got this goal in my head up until recently um i haven't even run an all-out mile on a treadmill i don't know if i've ever really run an all-out mile on a treadmill i think the fastest time i've run before was a, a 520 something a 528 maybe uh and that was uh before doing a when i was doing a, a one mile 2k challenge uh, against two two of my clients so i ran the, the one mile and did the 2k and i had two two of my guys uh, one of them ran the mile one of them did the 2k and uh I, they just barely edged me out a little bit about like five seconds in total time so man uh probably i'd say maybe a couple months ago two or three months ago um one of my uh, at my corporate one of the space I train uh, corporately, I'd have a corporate uh, training program. Uh, I guess one guy decided he was gonna run an all out mile, see what he can do. And uh, so that just kind of grew from there to everybody starting to, you know, set mile times. And, you know, just being a trainer and stuff, I was like, I already know that, you know, I can run, you know, a fast mile. And typically I don't do any of the challenges that are set there unless one of the guys asks me to or challenges me to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like if maybe they're wondering what I can do to see how close they can get to it or if they possibly can beat me at something. And uh, so typically I don't do them. So I let that mile time, the mile time just sit up there. I didn't even do them. Like they were up there for probably a couple months. We do a lot of different challenges. So we do a lot of them. A lot of them I participate in, but usually somebody will say something to me first and then I'll jump in on the challenge. But this particular mile, I was like, well, you know, I'm not really that pressed about setting a mile time. I was heavy into rowing at first. And uh, so I just kind of let it sit up there up until I think last week where I uh, decided to go ahead and run one. And my legs were shot because this, this was Monday and I did a ton of trap bar deadlifts on Saturday. So my legs were still sore. Managed to run a 515. So I felt pretty good doing that. So I said, hey, let's come back and run a try to run a sub five and uh so as you can see here this was the first attempt at the uh at the sub the sub five i started off running with my buddy uh one of my guys i train we work out quite a bit together and uh this is the same treadmill i ran on last week but as you can see i stopped prematurely because the treadmill just wasn't having it like it got to 11 and a half and uh it just it couldn't get the pace the speed that i put in there which was i think 12 to start actually i think i started 11.8 so this ended up being a blessing in disguise so i put it at 11.8 because i didn't i wasn't sure if i could hold 12 for an entire five minutes you know so i put it at 11.8 just to kind of give myself a little bit of a mental break uh and this treadmill just didn't want to get up there today it just it couldn't or, or, or this day, this was actually yesterday uh, from the, by the time I'm recording this video. So it just wasn't happening, man. It, this treadmill said it wasn't gonna do it. So then I ended up having to abort after running like, I think it was like 0.2 two miles, like two tenths of a mile or so. And uh, so <clears throat> the, the other two treadmills you see there, they were just about to get serviced. Like the guy was coming to service them the same day. The two treadmills to the left, they just weren't, um, they weren't able to hold those speeds either. So I ended up having to wait uh, for my buddy Michael here to run his mile. He was actually shooting for five. We were shooting for 539. He ended up kicking in, kicking in a little bit too late, going into his kick a little late. Uh, and he ended up with a 542. Now mind you, he's 230 as well. So it's a big guy. Uh, he started off training with me in October at 264. And uh, so we got him down now, he's 230, he's lean, he's still strong, he's stronger than he was when he started. And uh, overall, man, I'm just feeling a lot better, looking better. I'll post a picture of him on the screen so you guys can see the transformation uh, that he's had. And it's just simply a mindset, just a workman-like mindset that I'm gonna come, I'm gonna find somebody who knows what they're doing. And uh, you know, I'm gonna go and follow the instructions and 
I'm going to get the best out of it. And that's exactly what he's gotten. So uh, Mike's here running. He's uh, He ended up with a 542, which is fast, man. Fast for a, a 230 pound, you know. And uh, some of you might ask why we're running these on the treadmill and not outside. Well, this is a, a logistics company. So there's, there's cars and trucks and stuff. There's a big parking lot, but there's cars and stuff going around. There's no place for setting up uh, all out mile time. So we run them on a treadmill. They're easier on the joints. Um, we do have a 5K coming up in a couple weeks. So we will get a chance to run outside, but this is these are people working out during their lunch break so it's, <laughs> it's not like we can pack up and go to a track and do this stuff so and plus we we uh actually lifted weights right after this so we went straight to a full body workout which includes some bench press uh including some single leg split squats elevated split squats uh back biceps triceps pretty much some of everything which is the program that we're on right now uh but anyway mike um ended up running a 542 and uh, so, <clears throat> you know, last week, I decided I was going to go for this Kipchoge mount, which is uh, 13. Uh, it'd be 13.1, but these treadmills only go up to 13. So I want to try a mile at 13 miles an hour just to see if I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to see if it's something that, that I can do, um, you know, while I was running this particular mile this day, I don't feel like I probably could. <laughs> Like in my head, when I'm not doing anything, I feel like I might be able to do it. But in real, you know, while I was running, that 12 took a lot out of me. And going to 13 for like the last tenth of a mile, I don't know if I can, I honestly don't know if I can handle that for a full four. It's like four minutes and 36 seconds. So it'll actually be a little bit slower because it takes the the belt a while to get up to that speed so probably like 440 something that's like 15 20 seconds man i don't know i, I don't <laughs> i don't know man i just i don't know i don't know if i don't know if i'm i know i don't know if i'm ready for it right now so i might i'm gonna give it a try here sometime in the next few weeks and see if it's something that i can do as you see uh mike here trying to kick it in and get his best time uh, on his mile it's just one of those things where I'm not really sure if that's something that, that I can do. So I'm, I'm willing to give it a try, though, you know, and see how it goes. And, you know, the crazy thing is, like, right now, I haven't been running all that much. You know, like, I don't spend, I don't log tons of miles on the treadmill every week. Like, I'll do cardio. My, my week schedule is cardio on Tuesday and Thursday uh, at my studio. And then I do full body weightlifting on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So typically we'll be on a treadmill for somewhere, some type of intervals around 15 minutes on cardio day. And sometimes we hop off and do burpees or, or kettle swings or ball stands or something. So it's, usually, it's a lot of intervals, a lot of mixed cardio. So rarely is it just getting on there and running straight. You know what I'm saying? Probably uh, two weeks, three weeks ago, I was at Disney. And uh, because I was traveling and eating, you know, you know, food from restaurants and stuff quite a bit, I did a lot of cardio that week. So I did, um, I did a four mile run on Wednesday. I did an incline walk on Thursday. I did uh, split miles, 10, 10 uh, miles an hour miles with five minutes walking between three of those, uh, which are six minute miles. I did that on uh, Friday and, uh, wait, no, yeah, Wednesday, and we got down to Monday, it didn't work out Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday I did weightlifting and incline walk, so that was like the most amount of running I've done, that four miles plus the three mile split mile um, workout, so anyways, here I am on the treadmill, getting ready to go, getting ready to uh, give my attempt at this at this sub five minute mile now i will i mean i I'll readily admit that running on a treadmill is going to be significantly easier than running outside now i've never run an all-out mile um on on an official like rubber track you know what i'm saying so i'm not sure what the delta would be uh i think my fastest outdoor mile has been like 528 or something like that but at that time i was 212 maybe 212 or so two two i was 215 or less 
So a lot less muscle at the time. Uh, so I do feel like my cardio is just really good right now. And really good for the fact that I don't spend a lot of time logging miles. Like I, you might be able to get five miles out of me a week, if that, five to, to eight miles a week. But I'm not logging, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles. I, I'm, I'm not doing the slow, steady pace running at all, zero. I do a lot of rowing. I do some uh, air biking and now uh, some some ski erg, but I just don't do a lot of running. Um, this running is fairly high impact and I don't want to run for miles and miles and miles. I want to do other stuff. So pretty much just not going to do it. So anyways, off we start. We're at 12 miles an hour. I started off at 12 miles an hour. So that other treadmill stopping was a blessing in disguise because I started this run at 12 miles an hour. And the thing is that when you start it, because we're going from a dead stop, so that no, so because flying starts, it's easy for somebody to kind of cheat a little bit and go a little bit past where they should and stop early. So we, we just go from a standing start. So it takes the belt a while to get up to that speed, to 12 miles an hour. So it would have ended up being like a 12, like a 505 or something like that, 508. So you have to make up for that by running faster on the back end. So I'm running on 12 miles an hour. I wanted to see how this 12 would feel, you know, how much I would fatigue. I think I was a little bit mentally <laughs> exhausted from thinking about it over the weekend because I knew over the weekend that I was coming in. I took two days off over the weekend to make sure I was pretty fresh coming into this workout uh, to make this attempt. So I felt like I think it was more nerves than anything. Uh, kind of a little nervous fatigue and uh, but I felt like I was getting stronger you know as it went but I did not want to kick in too soon and run out of gas because this is pretty much at the very edge of my efficiency range where I can maintain my normal stride just at a slightly faster cadence without my form breaking down and you'll see later at the end once I get you know near the end where my form starts to break down at you know 12 and a half miles an hour and 13 miles an hour so this is a this is a high challenge for me and so you know with my ultimate goal of trying to smile at 13 miles an hour <laughs> right right about now is where i'm looking down i'm like man i have no like 13 miles an hour seems unfathomable but you know a couple years ago 12 miles an hour seemed unfathomable you know so i'm not really sure you know i have to keep working at it keep training keep improving myself and seeing you know where where i can go you know i'm 42 i turned 43 in about two months a little over two months so there's still certain areas that there's still some stones that i have that have been left unturned in terms of areas that i can improve in and my speed in, in running is one of them so i don't i don't put all stock into treadmill running but like i said i got a 5k coming up in a couple weeks that'll tell me where i'm really at you know, for being, you know, 230 pounds. My fastest time was a 20, 40 something uh, that I ran at a Thanksgiving 5K. And this was like 2012, maybe 13, somewhere. It was a long time ago. I was two, I was definitely 211, 212 that, that week, that day, because I went to, t to Texas to, a, to the first uh, F1 race uh, at Circuit of the Americas. And I got food poisoning and I had diarrhea and I just lost a bunch of weight because I was just nonstop going to the bathroom. And somehow I had a lot of energy on the on Thanksgiving day because uh, this was the prior weekend that I, that I went to the F1 race and I ran my best time ever. So, but it was cool and the temperature makes a huge difference for a big body that produces a lot of heat like me. So. Uh, we're getting closer to the end here, and uh, once I get to, I think, point nine, I kick it up to 12 and a half miles an hour. So you can see I'm starting to strain a little bit here. I'm starting to overstride more uh, as the fatigue sets in. So my form is definitely breaking down. I'm definitely out of my comfort zone, out of my efficiency range. And so I kick it up here to, I think this is, that's where I kicked it up to 12 and a half. And so now I'm really getting out of my efficiency range. This is like the end kind of sprint. I'm leaning, leaning forward. So this is like the end of the race where you're not really as much worried about 
form as long as it doesn't break down too much you're really just worried about surviving so right there i kick it up to 13 and at some point i thought i had it in the bag but come to find out like if i hadn't kicked it in right when i did like i would have came up short because i got like a, a it was 459 and some change when the thing clicked to one mile so it was barely barely <laughs> barely under that five minute mark and it would have been excruciating to run like a five flat or a 501 because then i would have been just mentally upset so anyways man i'm happy with that i'm super happy that i ran 459 at 230 pounds and so now we got to see what we can improve from there like there was a time where i didn't think i would be able to do that and and here we are here i am and so now it's just onwards and upwards man that was a uh, that was a, a, a significant challenge. So I encourage everybody, man, get out there and challenge yourself on a regular basis. If you're pushing yourself on a regular basis, then you'll find that you can dig deeper and find more improvements. So uh, me and the guys I train here, uh, my corporation, we, uh, we've we been pushing each other. We have some guys that have picked up like 90 seconds in like the last couple months, you know, a minute. 45 seconds on their personal best mile just from the competitive environment and guys pushing each other you know challenging each other and just individually challenging themselves and so you'd be surprised what you can accomplish until you put your mind to it because i don't think any of these guys thought they would be running the mile times that they're running so thank you guys for watching please uh comment like subscribe we got more challenges coming up and i will be filming and hopefully sometime soon we'll have a Kipchoge mile coming up at 13 miles an hour. We'll at least have an attempt, a filmed attempt. So we'll see, see kind of how that goes. So you guys stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. A portion of a second. Oh, shoot. Oh, my butt. Oh, you got it. Oh, my butt hurts. Shoot. Always repping, 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 repping.